Does my hair look like I tried to do like a DIY bucket hat hairstyle on my head? <laughs> Why does it look like this? Everything in my life is going wrong right now, but the fact that I'm making this video is making me smile so much because I'm going to be feeling like I am a stylist for those Netflix shows and I get to style the characters except I'm only going to be styling myself and I'm also going to be feeling like I'm in the show even though I'm just like in my room and I'm also going to be in my closet which is very small and makes me feel like I'm in an elevator and I literally hate elevators so much which is why I don't take showers because showers are basically like oh, an elevator water park thing. I just don't like small spaces like that. I don't know why I had that kind of reaction. I'm just like really dramatic. Anyway, so today I'm going to be... Oh my god, I literally cannot even contain my excitement. I'm just so excited for this video. Today I'm going to be dressing up. Making it sound like I'm like going trick-or-treating or something like that. Like I'm going to be dressing as... There we go. That's way better. This is like more professional, you know. Like I'm really professional. I'm a professional actress and I work for Netflix, believe it or not. You can probably see me in Riverdale pop up here and there. Maybe I'm like the little shadow or like the potato that they're cutting or something. Like, you know, you see me pop up here and there. Anyway, I'm going to be wearing the clothes that are in my closet. Yeah, no dirt. Where would I get it from? Basically, today I'm going to be wearing clothes that... I would wear if I was in my favorite Netflix shows. Okay, so I don't know if you can see my closet. Maybe you're gonna have to like zoom in and like do a little Where's Waldo moment where you have to like literally get a magnifying glass to see anywhere on that page and try to find my closet, but it's right there. And I'm gonna be going in there in a second and picking out the clothes for the first show. So the first show that I'm gonna be doing is Riverdale. <laughs> excited for this because I feel like Riverdale has a very diverse style and I think <laughs> Like I have a lot of clothes that Riverdale would wear because literally Riverdale is like whole aesthetic Pinterest board like they have every aesthetic you can imagine of so I'm pretty confident that I can find something in here that like one of the characters would wear maybe not like one of the characters but like I could look like I was in a Riverdale show so my style I'm probably gonna go more for like Betty and Moron Veron I said Moronica I'm probably gonna go for like the more Betty and Veronica vibes like mixed together. So I have like this sweater thing, which I have not worn in so long. So I don't even know why I have it. Like I need to do like a huge closet clean out to be honest. But I have this sweater and I feel like this is such like a Betty thing to wear. But I'm not trying to be here. I'm just trying to... Oh my god, and the wait, oh my god, hold on. I have the perfect skirt. Well, actually, I don't have the perfect skirt. My mom has the perfect skirt because she took the black one and I took the white one because there's like two versions of it. And like, she didn't want to have both and like have like a part of her closet look like zebra print. So she has a black version. I'm gonna try to find it because I feel like that would work really well with that sweater because then I get like the Veronica vibe at the bottom, but then like the Betty vibe at the top, which would make like the perfect extra Riverdale character. I mean, like she literally has her wedding dress right here on display, but I cannot find a simple black skirt. That's like a very staple item. Okay, that's her, found it. Oh my God, oh my God. That is the most Riverdale thing I think I've seen all day long. So I'm gonna be putting on that outfit and I'll probably be walking out feeling like I'm Gigi Hadid walking down the runway even though I'm not and I'm just gonna be in my hallway. Okay, so now that I'm my sweater in 100 degree weather and I feel like the song sweater weather minus the weather part because it is not sweater weather but I do kind of feel like neighborhood songs so that's at least one bright side. But I do have the outfit on except the shoes just because I'm not gonna be walking around in heels for like no reason. Like I don't need to be hearing that click clack 24-7 in feeling like I'm a horse. Okay, but anyway, so now I'm gonna be putting on the jewelry and stuff like that. Now I need something iconic to wear so because every character has something iconic. Like Veronica has her pearl necklace. Betty has her ponytail. Like I need to have something iconic too. So I feel like I'm gonna be doing my watch is maybe something iconic. Could that be iconic? I don't, I don't honestly know, oh my God. <laughs> so hard looking rich whenever you're poor. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that happen because like all of the characters are in Riverdale, not all of them, but a lot, well, Veronica. 
Veronica as the rich character. I'm putting, putting on these hoops, even though it looks like I'm advertising for Dunkin' Donuts because like they literally look like the shape of a donut. Like, look at this. I'm not gonna be wearing any necklace because every time I wear a necklace, like the clipping of the necklace likes to act like a net and likes to catch every single hair strand. It just creates a big hairball and I'm not a cat that throws up hairballs so I don't want to have that on my necklace. Time to do something about this hair because currently this hair is just like a big mess. It looks like I took a nap for three days straight and did not brush my hair or anything which is kind of what I've been doing minus the napping part because I actually hate naps. Oh, oh my god I'm sweating in places I shouldn't be sweating and I'm literally using my skirt as a fan to fan my legs because I'm so sweaty. I don't know why I'm singing. I guess I'm really thinking I'm a Riverdale character in the musical episode. Oh. Ew. I'm hurting my own ears by singing. I would end up just like losing hair. And I don't want to end up like Dr. Phil by the end of this video. I kind of want to keep my long luscious locks. Well, they're not really that luscious. They're actually like very dry and I could literally feed my hair to horses and they would not know the difference between the hay or my hair because it looks and feels exactly the same. Okay, while I'm here, I'm thinking I'm gonna like use my mom's lipsticks because I just keep using the same lipstick and honestly, I'm really tired of all my colors. So I'm gonna be using some of hers. My lips are literally the same color as my phone. So why is I burning my lips? What the hell? Oh my god, these are so tight on me. I'm not even walking them. Ow, ow. I'm only smiling because I smile through pain. This is the final face reveal. This is how my face looks. I mean, this is how it always looks. Especially right now because my air conditioner broke down. And so now I'm sweating more than usual and I'm literally wearing a sweater in a 100 degree weather. And I literally just wanna die right now. And I'm sweating in places I shouldn't be sweating. Like I literally wanna be like that Marilyn Monroe commercial and just have air coming up my skirt. But anyway, this is my outfit. I really like it. Um, this is something that I probably would wear, honestly. I'm the one, could you be the one? Shh. These are the uncomfortable shoes that literally look like Minnie Mouse's head. Go, go. Okay, so now I just feel like I'm in the show naked and afraid because I'm literally, well, I mean, I'm in my bra, but like, I feel very naked right now because I'm just so sweaty to the point where I don't even want to go put on my other clothes and like change again, like take them off. And like, it's just a big mess. Like changing clothes constantly is like a big workout. I don't know how Lady Gaga did it at the Met Gala, changing like into four outfits. I don't know how she did it because like, I just did one outfit and I already just want to be a popsicle and go in the freezer and just freeze myself until I can get Anna to unthaw me. Anyway, so the next show that I'm going to be doing is a show you. to be trying to find something that kind of replicates a show that I feel like I could wear if I was in the show. I'm gonna do it summer edition though so that I can actually like feel like I'm accomplishing something. I don't know. This is literally perfect. And, um, what else could I wear with it though? I don't know what I could wear with it though. That's the problem. I, mean, I could wear the just jeans. That could be like a vibe, right? Okay, we're gonna make that a vibe. But first I have to put up my other sweater because apparently I got how to wear clothes because I forgot that whenever you wear clothes, you actually have to put them up instead of just putting them on your bed and waiting for them to put themselves up. Like I don't live in Belle's castle where everything just like talks and moves and could do everything for you. And I feel like I kind of forget that. These are the jeans that I picked out. I don't know if they still fit me. I haven't worn them since like fifth grade. They're like miss me jeans. I feel like that could kind of be a vibe and something that would be in the show. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. Unless these don't fit me. Cause my, my hips hit puberty later than my body did. So now my hips are 
bigger, so I don't know if they fit me, but maybe they will, I don't know. Yeah, I just tried them on and as I suspected, they don't fit me, which is totally okay. Like, I'm not gonna force something to fit me if it doesn't fit me. Like, obviously I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna change and like my body's gonna gain weight, lose weight, whatever. So I'm not mad about it. I just gotta find new pants and I'm just like really lazy to dig through my closet because I'm not like in, oh my God, what are they called? What are they called? <laughs> I actually just had to search up the name for what I was about to make a joke about because I literally forgot what they were called, but they're called paleontologists. I'm not like a paleontologist who like digs up things in the ground. Looks like they're not digging in the ground. I'm just like digging through my closet and I'm just like really lazy. But you know what? Might as well be the same thing because I don't know what I can find in here. I could find a worm. I don't know. I haven't been in here for so long. I've just been wearing my pajamas fresh out of the laundry, not been putting them up and keeping them in the laundry machine because I'm lazy like that. Anyway, so I need to find some bottoms that are actually going to work for this and I don't know where my jeans are and my legs are like way too sweaty to even think about putting them on. I was in the show, what would I even wear? What the frig do people even wear? I just have an abnormal style. I just wear leggings and jeans like it's a personality trait. So I don't know what to wear. Ooh, wait. I found my jeans. I was just being dramatic, but I found them. I found them. They're right here. I think I'm going to be wearing these jeans. They're kind of like patchy jeans because my school dress code's literally everything. So I just have to get jeans that look like they have holes in them, but they're actually covered with patches. They kind of give me like the night before Christmas vibes because it's like all patchy and like sewed and stuff like that. And like, you know, the characters in that show, the movie are like all sewed and stuff. So I don't know. I really like these jeans and I feel like it would really go with this top right here. And I still have not put up this sweater because I'm literally just so lazy. Like, oh my God. And yes, I know that looks like a big ring patch. And no, I'm not trying to be like Green Lantern, but instead of like green, I'm red. No, I'm not trying to do that. It's literally just eczema because I've been stressing a lot recently. Oh, by the way, I thought I'd update you about my eczema. I know you don't care. Like you're not my doctor. Like you're not asking. You literally just do not care. But I thought I would update you. My eczema has gotten a lot better now. It just looks like this. It looks so patchy. Like literally my hands look like those patchy jeans right now. Okay, so I just put on the outfit. I will show it in the final review. But now I have to find shoes first of all, which I hate finding shoes so much. Like literally shoes are my least favorite part of an outfit because it can make or break the outfit. And I never know what to wear. This wouldn't make sense with this outfit. I mean, would it? Like, I don't know. I'm so bad at matching things together. Like I can just not style myself whenever I try to have a good style. Okay, so update. I just went to go run in the mirror, which running was a not very nice in these shoes. I had to like kind of make small steps. It's really weird to be honest, but but um, kind of worth it because now I feel like I could be a track runner even if I'm in heels. So it's like, you know, so I kind of feel kind of cool. But also like, I know I didn't look that cool because I was like taking such small steps because I was afraid I was gonna like fall over, or, like break my ankle or something knowing me. Also, I took off my, my lipstick and also while I was scrubbing it, like I had to scrub so hard. Like, oh my God, I felt like I was becoming my own exfoliator, just like scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. So that was an adventure to say the least. And but we're here now and we're okay. So now I'm going to be doing the jewelry and the makeup because I don't actually wear makeup because literally if I try to put makeup on my face, I end up just looking like my version of the clown from it. So I just try not to put on makeup. So I'm gonna be trying to put on some different earrings. I don't even know what I should wear. I feel like these are kind of her vibe. Maybe, or maybe like studs are more her vibe. Oh, I'm not trying to be love. I keep forgetting, like I keep trying to think like I'm turning into characters, I'm not. I'm trying to look like I could be a part of the show if I wanted to be. You know, like I could like sneak little clips of me in there and people would not question it because they'd be like, like, oh yeah, that looks like someone could be in the show. So anyway, I think I'm gonna be putting on these. I feel like these are like something that could maybe like bring the whole outfit together. And yes, I know my nails are chipped. They're really chipped. And that's because I apparently think that my nails are like hammers and I slam them into everything. Like I literally just go like this, like. <laughs> Like, what am I doing? Knocking on someone's door 24 seven. Like, I don't know how this happens, but it does. And that's why my nails crack, like literally just crack. Like it looks like erosion hit over my nails. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to be putting on this earrings and I feel like I should maybe venture off and put on a bracelet. Still not going to be put on a necklace because necklaces literally scare me and I hate putting them so on. So I need to brush my hair out, which I never do because I hate brushing my hair because every time I brush my hair, I end up just losing so much hair. And then there's hair all over the floor and like there's tile here on my floor actually. And it ends up looking like 
my floor's carpet when it's literally just tile. So I try to avoid this at all costs, but I guess I'm gonna be doing it today because that's important step to being a Netflix character. You have to have perfect hair all the time. Also, I forgot to mention I was doing a bun and I wasn't doing like a messy bun like I always do because that's literally what I live in. I mean like I was doing like a slicked back bun. Like it looked like I have gel in my hair, but that was honestly just my grease from my hair because I've been lazy. So I'm gonna be really brushing out my hair. And I mean like really brushing out my hair. That was just like the beginning step. I'm gonna be like, you know, turning upside down, like flipping myself over, like I'm a pancake on a skillet just being flipped over and then brush it out like that. Oh my God, I'm way too lazy for this. This is why I just make messy buns and have like bumps and stuff. I like to just look like a road that has a lot of speed bumps. Oh my God, this is so much work. I'm literally complaining for no reason. Like when was the last time I even got ready? Yeah, I need to shut up. Oh my god, my hair's so long. No, 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 there's hair falling out. No, 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 no. I'm literally about to cut all my hair off. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say that. I'm not even, like, trying to be dramatic or, like, sarcastic or funny. Like, I'm really just about to go Britney Spears on everyone and just shave my head off. And yes, I know my underarms are hairy. I didn't shave. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm kind of here for this. Maybe I'll, like, start doing this more often, like, actually smoothing out my hair because now it just looks so slicked back. Does it look like back in the back? No, it doesn't really feel like it. It feels kind of like puffy. I'm not trying to like have a pillow back there, so I want it more smoothed out. But besides that, I kind of like this look. If I was on TikTok, this is what I look like doing a TikTok. Do I look good? Be honest. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, time for the final reveal. Yeah, I'm the one, could you be the one? Shh. I just ate a lot of food. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, I actually did eat a lot of food. So now I feel like the comment section of those hot TikTok boys, the pregnant ones, like, but I'm still gonna be filming this fashion video because, well, isn't even a fashion video? But anyway, so it's actually a couple days later and there's a squirrel like literally climbing the tree. What's it doing? It's like doing a plank against the tree. Do you see that? <laughs> I guess the squirrel is like trying to do like the Chloe Ting's ab challenge. I don't know. So the next show that I'm going to be doing is Stranger Things. Now, I love Stranger Things. I think it's amazing. It's a great show. It's just, it's 80s themed. I don't think I have anything that could fit it. They wear like such crazy patterns. They look like those basic tourists with those crazy pattern shirts. And the closest thing I have to that kind of pattern shirt is this shirt right here. So you know her romper, like the purple one with like all the fun colors? Well, I actually have something kind of similar to that. I could wear this robe thing that's kind of like the same pattern as her, but then I could like tie it up and make it one of those cute tops that you get at like Shine or whatever. Like, I got my top. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I put on the outfit and then I realized this is basically what I just wear on a daily basis because I'm in quarantine and because I haven't left my pajamas in literally until this video. So, okay, so now that we have the outfit on, it is time for the hair. <clears throat> oh my God, I literally just choked on my own saliva. But anyway, so I'm gonna be put on scrunchies because it's such an 80s thing and that's even such a like a 2019 thing too. So I'm just gonna be putting scrunchies in my hair. Maybe I'll do like that Emma Chamberlain Vogue moment whenever she had like the scrunchies like that and she looked like a scrunchy unicorn. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I kind of don't feel like doing that because that sounds like a lot of work. I don't know, I need to like add some volume to my hair. Like I need to have a big crazy hair. I need to look like I'm a lion's mane because right now my hair just looks like a horse tail because it's actually really dry and has no volume to it whatsoever because I'm too lazy to put products in it after I wash my hair. So I'm stuck with this because I'm too lazy to put the mousse in that I have. Literally my bathroom's sitting there. Like I can easily just like, you know, do do this and like feel like a professional hair. So I was like, you know, and have so much volume the next day. But I'm just too lazy to do that. And I let my hair air dry. So we're stuck with this disaster. <laughs> and it's just like frizzy like this. Like it literally looks like I blow dry my hair with like a balloon. And I just get like that electricity going on my hair. So um, I need to solve that immediately. And I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I like do a half up, half down, but I'm also too lazy to go get my brush. And I know this is going to be really tangly and really hard to get out if I start doing this. So I don't know what I want to do. Why are they even doing the 80s? I thought they just like went to arcades and like, I don't know. Oh my God, do I have a snap bracelet? I guess I'm not going to have a snap bracelet. Brace, bracelet, bracelet. Oh my God. 
I'm so tired. Wait, oh my god, wait, what if I put this in a ponytail? That's such an 80s thing to do, right? <laughs> This is like the worst ponytail ever, but I'm actually really bad at ponytails and that's why I never try to be Betty from Riverdale and always have a ponytail. That's why I always have my hair down where it gets in front of my face like this and it acts like it's curtains for my face. It's so frustrating. I feel like I always have to be like this, like just trying to move it like it's a windshield wiper, just like... <laughs> oh my god, I look like Jojo Siwa's hair accessories right now. Um... I just look like Minnie Mouse right now, but it's fine because it's an 80s thing to do. I don't know why I keep saying that even though I'm not born in the 80s and I know nothing about the 80s. I'm just pretend like I know everything about the 80s when I really know nothing about the 80s whatsoever. I'm not going while I'm going outside the lines and I don't know what to do about it. I think I just ruined everything for myself. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be trying to find some shoes. Now, I actually have a lot of shoes and I just forget that I have a lot of shoes and then I end up wearing like the same two shoes. These are the shoes. Well, doesn't it look like a mouse should be like right there? And then like, I should be like on a computer screen like clicking something like, you know, like da, da. No, it doesn't. I'm probably just like imagining things. I know I Could you be the one? Shh. Good.